Well, the Hoosier State now on its way to the highest number of traffic-related deaths our state has seen in nearly 10 years. The state right now sitting at over 680 deaths since the beginning of 2021. It is our top story right now at 6 o'clock. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Fanchon Stinger. And I'm Dan Spieler. More than 200 law enforcement departments across the state now have thousands of dollars to fight reckless driving. Fox 59's Courtney Spinelli spoke with several agencies about how they're going to use this funding. The numbers are pretty staggering and pretty sobering. On Indiana roadways, people are dying at rates higher than pre-pandemic levels in traffic crashes. Which is why the Indiana Criminal Justice Institute is awarding $6.5 million in traffic safety grants to more law enforcement agencies across the state. What we're trying to do here uh, with these funds and partnering with these agencies is we're really trying to save lives. Numbers show the reckless driving situation is only getting worse and will continue if things don't change. Indiana alone, as of kind of the beginning of October, we were about 683 traffic fatalities, which is an 8% increase over 2019. Data shows if the pace continues and with the holiday travel season ahead, Indiana could surpass 900 traffic deaths by the end of the year, one of the highest in the last decade. Nearly every single crash is preventable, right? So um, our goal is to increase our enforcement efforts. Um, by doing that, it increases our visibility. Indiana State Police received $1 million, one of the two highest in the state. ISP says it will target those enforcement efforts by utilizing data and looking at statistics to try and change them. And target those aggressive drivers, target those areas that have been deemed as high crash areas. Like other recipient agencies, troopers will have the opportunity to do this on their time off and hopefully help reduce the number of crashes overall. Fortunately, these things tend to come and go in spurts for some reason, and we've uh, had an unfortunate run of it here lately here in Thompson County. The Johnson County Sheriff's Office works with Franklin and Greenwood Police on traffic enforcement efforts. The three received a combined $82,500 to put towards their enforcement efforts in the hopes of saving at least one more life. What people don't realize is that, you know, it's not always their own life that they're that they're putting in jeopardy uh, as you said but unfortunately it's others reporting for fox 59 news i'm courtney spinelli